Hello guys, Tough HD here and welcome back to another video and today we will be taking a look at what are in these packets and these are two hard drives which I have bought from CEX. Now, if they've sent the right thing, these should be two 500GB Western Digital Blue hard drives. Now, I did intend to pick these up at my local store but they didn't have any in stock when I wanted them so I had to order them online, I ordered them on Sunday after store closing hours and today is Wednesday when they have arrived so really that is not bad going so today we're going to be taking a look to see if they've sent me the right thing and we're going to see if they actually work so first off we're just going to take a look at OneDrive and I must say this is packaged quite nicely and here it's in a it's within one of the CEX bags inside this bubble wrap and these both came in even more bubble wrap and then in a jiffy bag so really that packaging should be good enough for a hard drive it just really depends on how careful Royal Mail was with the package so let's cut the tape here and see exactly what we've got inside alright so there's definitely something hard drive shaped in here I can feel it, it's got quite a nice weight and I can feel the lumpy bits on the drive so let's carefully get in here and I don't want to touch the PCB particularly but the people in the shop have probably already done that so hopefully we don't damage it and hopefully it's not already been damaged and here it is and that is one dirty drive look at that at the top there if the camera will focus there's a lovely bit of what looks to be food on there, which is always pleasant. Now looking at the label on this drive, it does show that this drive was actually made on the 20th of August 2012. So this is now an eight year old drive. And I'm just going to check if the model on here is the same as the one advertised on the website. So now I'm just going to open up the other one, see if we've got two of the same model drive and then I'll come back. Alright, here's the second drive and it is also a Western Digital Blue and it is of course 500 gigabytes like the other one. If we look at the date, this is the 17th of November 2013. So this one is over a year newer than the previous one. This one still has the sticker on it from when it was in the shop and it looks like Rachel W bought this drive off someone. And if we look at the other one, the label is different, showing that it is an older model. But while I've got both of the drives here, I might as well mention how much I paid. These were cheap, I paid £8 per drive, so for both of these it was only £16 and then £3 delivery. So £19 for these two drives. Let's put them in my drive toaster, connect them to my computer and see if they do anything. Okay, so there's my drive toaster. Sorry about the angle and the lighting. It's the best I can do right now. I'm going to put the older of the two drives in first. I'll put that in the back slot here. There we go. That one is in. And now the second one will go in the slot in front. Okay, here we are. I've just opened up this PC on my computer. And when I turn the toaster on, the drive should show up up here so I'm just going to turn that on now I'm not sure if you can hear that but the drives are making a noise and it looks like we have two drives and one system reserve so we've got new volume one and local disk both of them are empty but I'm not sure what this system reserve is so what I'm going to do is I'll open up disk management here and we will format both of the drives now unfortunately Windows Disk Management kept crashing on me so we're going to have to do this on my MacBook Pro instead and I know that the drives won't be recognisable because of the way they're formatted but we should be able to get into Disk Utility and format them ourselves and see if they work. So I'm going to turn on the toaster again and then we'll go into Disk Utility. Okay, the drives are now connected and one of them is actually showing up here on the desktop as untitled, which is actually surprising because I didn't think it would be formatted correctly to show up. But what we are going to do is go into Disk Utility. We've got two volumes showing up, of course, because we've got two disks. 
So what we are going to do is we are going to erase the first one and we are going to do it as XFAT so it works on Mac OS and on Windows and we're just going to call it HDD1 and I'll call the other one HDD2 as well. So that was successful. Now let's do the second one and this will be HDD2 and I will select that to be XFAT as well. Okay, so now both of those drives have been successfully formatted and here they are on my desktop. So out of interest, I'm going to do a disk speed test. I've selected HDD1 for this test, then we'll also do it for HDD2 and see if there is any performance difference and have a look at this. Right, that's about what I would expect from a WD Blue. I think that's about normal. Yeah, that seems to be performing as I would expect. Now I'm going to select HDD2 as the target disk and let's see how this one goes. Alright, so this one seems to be a bit slower, so I'm assuming that this one is the older of the two drives, but I will have a check later. Yeah, they're around about the same, so that shouldn't be a problem. Alright guys, it's been a few days since the last few clips, that was on Wednesday, today is Saturday and we are looking at the CEX gaming PC and you may be able to see one of the hard drives there and the other one there. Now yes, they are not in the case and one of them is on a bit of a funny angle but this is the computer that I will be using the drives in and I've configured them in a RAID 1 configuration which is how I will be using them. I need to get a new case for the computer so once I do that the drives can happily go inside and not be looking so dodgy hanging out of the case. But what we're going to do now is check the health of the drive. So I've got Crystal Disk Info so I'm going to open that up and here can see information about the two drives. Okay, so the first drive we're going to look at is this one. This one has the serial number ending in 05, and I've checked that, and this is actually the newer of the two drives. So this is the 2013 drive, and if we look at the total power on hours, that is equivalent to 832 days and seven hours, and the power on count is 391, and the total host writes total over 8 terabytes. Now that is quite a lot. And if we look, the temperature is going quite well and we do have good health on this as well. If we look at the other drive, now this is information about the older of the two, so the 2012 drive out. I know because of the serial number. This one also has good health, this is about the same temperature this one has a total host write of under a terabyte, it's actually at 875 gigabytes, and total power on hours of 689 hours, which is equivalent of 28 days and 17 hours. So the older of the two drives has significantly less power on time than the other, which is quite good to see. So considering that both of these drives are in good health, and they both seem to be at a good temperature, I've got no concerns with these and hopefully they will work for quite a while in my computer. So really I think that's everything I need to discuss in this video. The hard drives seem to be working just fine, I've got them configured how I want them. They don't seem to be making any funny noises, they actually sound very quiet and I'm quite impressed with that. They seem to be working as well as they possibly can be, so, so far I've got no complaints with these drives. Now of course, this could just be good luck and other people may end up with bad drives, but that's the case with lots of things in life. So, I've ended up with some good ones here and hopefully if you're in the market for some too, you will end up with good ones as well, but if you don't, I'm sure that CEX will be happy to replace them if they are faulty. So, thank you for watching this video. If anything does happen with them, I'll do an update in the future. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.